So as you can see, we're using um, all the titles, the sound, um, there wasn't many transactions actually used in this little project, but that's just to demonstrate like how good you can make your projects, and I'm not that great at making projects to be honest, I'm alright, but once you, also once you've imported your movie, it can be named New Event, you can easily change that, just click on it, and it should be able to change. Maybe not. <laughs> Never mind. Um, yeah, so now we're going to actually make a project using some of the skills, and I'm going to show you some more skills as well. Okay, so to first to start with is we're going to click on our footage and add it. So we'll start with a basic running so I just want to preview the clip I'm going to click space the clip I'm going to click space bar action ah. okay so that's the clip I want I'm going to drag the yellow box and drag it into my project library and there it is now I'm going to add some more project, but I'm going to make sure it's the right project type, which that is. So, action. Now, as you can see, I made a mistake there because you don't want to hear me shout action. In it. So, I'm going to click it and click the backspace, and I'm going to find that clip again and scroll along till the end of where I said action. And then I'm going to drag the other box from there and pop it into the film. So now you won't hear me say action. Now if I want to slow that clip or make the him run faster in that clip, you can run your, you run your mouse over and it will bring you up with a little cog. If you click on that, it will give you a list of options. And if you click on clip adjustments, it will bring up this. Now you can change the effect, so you can make it negative, heat wave, negative, yeah that looks quite cool. So I'm going to put that on there and see what that looks like. That doesn't look too fantastic, so I'm going to go ahead and remove that again. That was just a little bit of an example to normal. And then I'm going to speed it up. So if I click on 
this slider and drag it from 100% to say 200% it'll be going a lot faster as you can see and I could also make him go a lot slower by dragging the slider the other way here we go There's an example with that. Now, if we go to clip adjustments again, and I'm going to click now this time on reverse, drag that back to normal, and try it in the reverse. Alright, that froze a bit there. Try that again. So that's how you put the movie into the reverse. And you can also adjust the video. If it isn't the right colour in any way, you can adjust the video to the right colour by using the slider. And also your exposure levels. The brightness of the clip. You can also adjust the contrast and the saturation and you can also add the colors like that but also by clicking revert to original it will put it back to normal and automatic does it all for you then you can click done next there's cropping and rotation now you can rotate the thing upside down don't know why you'd want to do that or you can crop it by using these fit that one and crop and you can crop it I don't really crop things to be honest, but they are, you can do it like that. And pop it over and click done, and that should crop the video. Yep. Let's crop the video. Um, so, I'm going to delete that now, and show you some more things you can do. Like by adding, again, the bit with the fence. Oh, one. Oh. Add it from there. You don't want to hear me shouting again. Okay, drag it into the video. And then, because it's a bit bare, might want to add some sound. So, add the 18 music. Pop that in. Now, if it pops there, you can drag it along to the beginning of the video and drag the time along. And also, if you don't want to hear any of the other sound in the other tracks, or if you want to quieten down the other tracks, you can go to audio.